Hi guys, Andy here from the Sub Shack. Uh, just got the new Savage Gear uh, Gravity Stick kit in, which uh, we've been really excited about when we heard um, Savage Gear been working with Henry Gilby on this lure. So um, we're going to have a look inside, see what you get. Um, we've got these in stock right now, um, in store and available online. So we'll have a quick look through, have a look, see what we've got. Um, perfect time to bring them out right now because September, October being the best time for spinning for the bigger bass. Um, so we'll have a quick whip through. You can see here there's, there's three different types of the gravity stick. There's the, um, there's the pin tail, the paddle tail and the pulse tail. Uh, great thing with these kits um, is you get, there's five different colours and you literally get two of each type of tail. So two paddle tails, two pulse tails and two pin tails in the same in each color so as an introduction um, for these lures um, the kit is a really really good starter it's got um, three of the weedless hooks and three of the weighted weedless hooks it's got the glass um, rattles and the tungsten spikes just to add a little bit more weight so you've got a little bit of everything uh, of these new lures so obviously there's going to be a certain type which you prefer or works the best for you different times of year so this is just a great introduction kit so we'll have a look and see what we've got also it comes with a cool little sticker put on the box it comes inside a box like this this is exactly how it comes so open the box and we see we've got all our uh, new gravity sticks here um, all the different colors separated we've got the weedless hooks here with a, a corkscrew and that on it so we rig them up like Texas style We've got here, we've got the rattles and the um, tungsten spikes. Tungsten spikes just add some extra weight. Uh, you can weight it in the back, weight it in the front, wherever you want to. Rattles, a bit murky, want a bit more um, noise, a bit more vibration. You can put a rattle in there again, just insert it into the body. So these are the, this is a paddle tail here. So nice size, um, nice weight as well. Uh, you, like I said, you rig these up um, Texas style, typically. So here's one that I've already rigged up on uh, one of the weighted hooks. So obviously when you know you were fishing these now, they are nice and weedless. I can't say snag proof, but less snags. I mean, I love to fish really close to the knuckle over big boulders. Um, so you're, you are gonna get away with more than having a hook dangling down the bottom or out the top. Um, and again, weedless, great thing, pulling it through the weed. Bass take 99 um, times out of 100, they're gonna take at the head as they take. You can press that down, you see the hook point then sticks out, bang, straight in. So, great way of fishing it. I'll just quickly show you how to, to rig one up. So I'll take the white paddle tail, we'll take it without a weighted. So, 6-0 hook. Cork through on the top, in at the nose, see the nose has got a little round um, sort of part, so get that right in the center, screw the cork screw in, till we get up to around the eye, like that, and then we want to put this in the bottom. So in the bottom of them, you should be able to see there, there's like a small hole, so we get the hook into that small hole there, then sort of come back at a bit of an angle. So you see it's going in that slot, comes out the slot, across and around and along. So now it's hidden right in the body, which is perfect. Bass takes it, boom, hook sticks out. You strike, hook goes in. So weedless lure, again, nice weight to cast. You could add those little bits of, um, of tungsten to, um, to increase the weight. Um, loads of ridges so they're all rigid ridged all the way across so that's going to give off a lot of vibration which again is going to drive the bass crazy um, and the action of these i've seen the video of the action these look amazing and they really do look enticing so um, haven't been able to give them a try yet i am looking forward to giving them a try any day like i said we just got these in so it comes in the sort of um you know five different colorways nice glitzy nice bit of glitter in in the bodies Give that extra bit of shine. Obviously different colors, different conditions. 
Um, no, not really used the sandy colour type. It's got like quite a pearly fleck. I don't know whether you can see that pearly fleck. And I've never really used the pintail, so I'm looking forward to giving them a go to see what action they give off compared. So of course, with the hook just being in the centre, we've got loads of movement, loads of wriggle room, and also a bass can easily just inhale that. I mean, inhale that no problem at all, even a smaller bass, but we ideally want the big ones. So these are the, this is the new kit. They don't only just come um, as a full kit. We've also got, the hooks are separate, so there's just a, a packet of four with the weighted. They come in six with the unweighted hooks. And all of the paddle tails, all of the pin tails, and all of the pulse tails come as a set of six in all the different colors. So we have all the different varieties. So if you don't want a full kit, and you just want a set of hooks and a set of lures, we've got them as well. If you find there's a collie that you like in particular and you've lost a few, again, we can just replace them. So this is how they come, just come in. Um, again, perfect timing. September, October is when we need to be bass fishing because it is when the bigger fish usually are feeding. Right now, where we are in West Wales, lots of mackerel around, lots of um, white bait and sort of herring, so lots of bait for the bass, so they are going mad great time to be um, fishing. So there's the full kit. Again, we have the other kits available as well. Uh, the next video hopefully will be me using them and I'm pretty sure catching on them. I've got no doubt in that. Um, looking forward to um, getting out on the paddleboard and giving these a blast. If you want any questions on the lures or any questions on paddleboard fishing or fishing off a paddleboard, um, you know, just ping us uh, an email comment in the um, in the comments below um, and we'll get back to you again paddleboarding for me is uh, probably one of the best ways of accessing um, lots of bass spots great way of uh, great positioning to see through the water so with the right lure and the right kit you know it's really hard to miss so there the kits in hope you enjoyed this hope you uh, learned a bit or a bit of information that you wanted to know and um, like I said Fingers, hit us up if uh, if you need anything else. Cheers, guys. Thank you.